Welcome to episode 4 of Kerbal Space Program, except it's real skill by using the RSS mod. Now, last time we had Jeb, we landed him on the moon, but we kind of stranded him there. Uh, since last time, I've gone ahead and accepted a couple contracts that will help us stay out of debt, basically. Because last time I was kind of kind of cutting it close, and then we had a contract that kind of sent us flying. I've also accepted a few more tech tree stuff, sent some extra science Jeb couldn't collect because I upgraded my research center. And I could pick up the uh, soil samples. Which did mean I had to bring Jeb all the way back to the probe, but whatever. It, it only took a really long time. So I've done three big missions since the last recording. We have a moon hopper, which was a science mission, just to get some more research done. We have a geostationary uh, satellite, which was just for, um, it was for a contract, because it, it was asked of us. But it's also like providing coverage over the sea. Well, now it is. I moved it. So, joke's on them. Um, and this Moonlander beta craft, it technically isn't finished. How it works is, we have the lander segment. Um, if it's in orbit around the moon, it can land and it can return. But as it is right now, uh, this little... Oh yeah, uh, the Nerva. Or the Nerve, not the Nerva. Nerva's the real-life equivalent of this engine. Uh, this engine we only have because of a contract, this one here. And I'm not going to complete it, just because it's like such a good engine to have early game. Or, well, I guess pretty early game still, yeah. Alright, there we are. 500 meters away from Moon Lander Beta. Now, it's going to be a two-part docking process. First, we're going to have to transfer fuel from the original craft. Alright, we got it. Now, all we have to do is transfer that liquid fuel out. Yeah, we're just draining this whole thing, honestly. There we are. Docked. it's not draining from anything. Alright, we're good. Now we just keep burning. Whew, that almost blew up my whole ship. And goodbye. Not nice knowing you. Beautiful. So just getting here took like an hour. Um, we had to do two different orb like dockings around Kerbin. So first dock was with the um, the actual translunar injection burn like uh, module and we just transferred fuel between them so that we would have enough fuel to get here now that other piece is flying off and hopefully leaving the solar system forever because that thing sucked at no signal strength and uh, then we had to dock to this lander which is now around the moon all right looks like I'm gonna be able to do this first try 10 kilometers away from the science graver 17 from actually being near Jeb. <laughs> oh yeah, I have real authority. Oh wait, no, it was, it was wobbling. Yeah, I have a really good turn. Okay. I'll be able to get up. Yep, there we are. Whew. I was traumatized for a second. Right, I'm going to walk the rest, because if we run out of EVA propellant, getting back into the lander is going to suck. So, here we are, Jeb. Just land on your face. Thank you. Alright, uh, time for a 600 meter walk. And here we are. It's still flipped over, so I gotta just wobble it back up. That's perfect ish. Quick save it upright. We gotta kinda race Jeb in here. Let's get the hell out of here.
we're gonna get into a decently high orbit just to pass any terrain I don't know about. I'm not familiar with the moon too much. We gotta get another translunar injection phase, and then rendezvous with this, and then we're done. Jab is safe. Just checking my staging. Now that we're around the moon, uh, what I've done here is gone into a highly elliptical orbit. It's two days, Jesus. Um, this is so that our descending node burn, even though it's 31.5 degrees, we're going to be going so slow that the change in velocity is almost nothing. Okay, so descending node, we're going down relative to it. So we want to raise up by burning here. There we go. See how cheap that is? Super cheap burn for a huge inclination change because we're all the way out here. We're only 100 meters a second. If you notice right here, you'll see we have a new mod called Time Control. But now I can hyper warp, which is physics warp, but slightly faster. Oh, Jeb, hope you enjoyed your little thing we're gonna crash it into the moon now because I don't like space trunk and it's kind of been cluttering so goodbye little ship there we are board let's go in how are we on power wait oh shoot I lost Jeff science and I already quick saved and that thing's gone he had 99 extra science from uh, a surface sample Look at all this space junk, man. Oh my gosh. Hey, we're also landing right at the... Well, that is a peculiar bug. Oh, that's not good. That is not good. I didn't get a screenshot. I didn't, I didn't get a screenshot, bro. Whatever, a picture of him, like, here. That, that's how you know the mission was a success. You were so focused on it, you forgot to get a screeny with your boy. Alright, that should call for the end of this episode. That was a 3 hour and 30 minute recording of me just racking my brain together, trying to save Jeb. And I did it in the end. It took a long time, it took several spacecraft. Um, But we did it. We got Jeb off the surface of the moon. And also have a weird bug now, but I'm... Oh, it's just the ocean is transparent. Because this is like the other side of the ocean. Okay, I get it. Well, with that out of the way, we now have a leveled up astronaut, Jebediah Kerman, who can uh, help us in all sorts of cool ways. And now we have future plans such as going interplanetary, and we have 28 science still. Even without the 99 from the surface sample that we threw back into the moon. Whoopsie. Uh, we get that. I still have these few contracts I have to do. I'm going to get these two done, and that one I can do in orbit right now. But I'll do that off stream, or off camera. Alright, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, we finally got Jeb back, and it took up an entire episode's worth. I was not expecting that. I thought it would be like a side mission kind of thing. But... We got him back in the end. If you uh, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit that like button and maybe that little subscribe button too. Uh, I should be posting a lot more on this series shortly. I've got some cool missions in mind. Uh, probably like a Venus flyby is up next, or maybe a Mars flyby. Venus is cheaper, but we'll see. It's actually pretty close to the phase angle. I think Venus phase angle is 60 degrees. That's 45. We could still get an intercept. Also, we have Jupiter ahead of us, so... Ooh, okay. So, either a Jupiter flyby or a Venus flyby. So, you get to look forward to that. Alright, see ya.